Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Cardiologist. This exercise is all about using basic tools from Draw and Modify panels in order to draw an object. If you are uncertain about any of the tools function in this exercise, you can check out tutorials 1 to 6 of this course and use the timestamps in each video's description to skip around to the part you wish to review. Do your best to watch until the end so you don't miss on the important details. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell to stay updated. In this video, we will draw and dimension together this object. When you open AutoCAD, click on Start Drawing from the interface. If the grid is activated, turn it off from the status bar or use F7 key to turn it on and off. Type units in the command line and make sure Drawing units type is decimal Precision is zero Draw units is millimeter Type LA to open layer properties manager and create a layer named object Create another layer for dimensioning Change the dimension layer color to gray number 8 Double click the object layer to set it as the current layer Then close layer properties manager Make sure ortho mode is activated Click on this little arrow of O snap And check endpoint, center point, quadrant, intersection and tangent mode Before you start a drawing be sure to save the file and keep doing that from time to time to avoid losing your drawing and effort by mistake. If you are saving for the first time, click on save from the quick access toolbar. Choose the file location. And type the name. Then click on save. Click on the application pattern. Click on options. Go to open and save tab. In the file safety precautions, make sure automatic save is checked and at every 10 minutes. Moreover, you can click on Ctrl plus S to save your progress anytime you want. Draw a circle 20 mm radius. Copy it right a distance of 110 mm and 190 mm. Select this circle and go to Properties Palette, which can be accessed through Ctrl plus 1. In the Geometry field, change the radius to 40 mm. Activate Polar Tracking through F10 key. Change the increment angle of Polar Tracking to be by 10 degrees. Select this circle and copy it from the center point mark and along the 260 degree angle a distance of 40 mm. Make a copy for this circle 30 mm right. Then move it along the 310 degrees path a distance of 80 mm. Select it and change the radius from properties palette to 25 mm. Activate X-Line command. Click and hold the shift key along with the mouse right button. Select tangent mode from the OSNAB list, then specify the point somewhere tangent to this circle. Specify the through point tangent to this circle in the same manner. Activate circle command. Select the TTR option from the command line. Specify the first point tangent to this circle and the second point tangent to this circle. Type 15 mm for the circle radius. Use the TTR option of circle command in the exact same way I just explained to you guys to draw one circle here of 10 mm radius. Another one here of 50 mm radius. And one more here of 75 mm radius. Activate the trim tool. Click on space again so AutoCAD can assume all objects in the drawing area selected. Follow me trimming and shaping the boundaries of our drawing. Window select everything and type J for join 
in order to connect all segments together and create one single object. Draw a circle at the center point mark 20 mm in diameter. Copy it 30 mm right. Then draw a rectangle from this quadrant mark to this quadrant mark. Select both circles and rectangle and activate the trim command. Trim this part, this part, this part, and this part. Select the object and type J for join. Now draw a circle at this center point mark 30 mm in diameter. Then offset it 10 mm outward. Draw another circle at this center point mark 20 mm in diameter. Draw 40 mm radius circle at this point. Draw another one here 20 mm in diameter. And one more here of the same diameter. Offset this circle 20 mm inward. Then select all circles and activate trim command. Follow me to remove these parts. Select this object and type J for join. Dimensioning. From properties palette, change the layer to dim for dimensioning. Type D and hit space to open dimension style manager. Click on new and type dim 01, then continue. In the lines tab, make sure baseline spacing is 3.75. Extend beyond dimension lines 1.25, offset from original 1. In the symbols and arrows tab, change arrow size to 1.8, make sure dimension brick size is 3.75, and go to text tab. Change text height to 1.8. In the text placement field, make sure vertical is set to above and horizontal is set to centered. Change offset from dimension line to 1. In the text alignment field, check aligned with dimension line. In the fit tab, make sure overall scale is selected and the value is 1. In the primary units, set the precision of linear dimensions to 0 and the same for angular dimensions. Click OK. Close. Go to Annotate tab and click on Linear. Measure the distance from here to here. Place the cursor over this quadrant mark and move it slowly upward. You should see a vertical path if object snap tracking is on. Type 10 to place the first dimension 10 mm from the quadrant mark. Of course, you could place the dimension anywhere you want. Type DIMC for dimension continue. Measure this length and this length. Choose aligned dimension from the list. Measure this length. And this length. Type DIMR for radius dimension and follow me to measure the arcs and circles of the drawing boundary. Choose diameter from the dimension list to measure the inner circles.
Select the whole drawing and activate the rotate tool from modify panel. Specify base point here and type 30 for the rotation angle. Now we need to prepare the sheet to print the drawing. Go to layout sheet, select the existing viewport and delete it. Right click layout 1 and rename it to exercise 07. Right click exercise 07 and go to page setup manager where we can set the sheet size, orientation, quality and many other things. Click on modify, change the printer name to DWG to PDF. Make sure the paper size ISO full plate A4 is selected. Check scale line weights and make sure landscape orientation is selected. Then click on OK and close. Type V port and hit space. Choose single and click OK. The command line is asking to specify the first corner or just click on space for fit. If you go to layer properties manager, you could see a layer created automatically and named diff points. It was generated when the first dimension was created in the drawing. This layer is unprintable and stores information about definition points of dimensions. It's usually used for the viewports and for any detail in the drawing you don't want to plot. So select the viewport and go to properties, then change its layer to diff points. Now to print the drawing, we need to insert the title block we created to gather in tutorial 8 of this course. Remember, this block is a template for the sheet you want to print and it involves imperative information to identify the drawing. So I will open exercise 01 that we did in tutorial 8 and copy the title block from there. Select the title block and its content. Type CO and select copy base. Specify the base point as mentioned in the command line. Click on this mark and go to exercise 07. Click on Ctrl plus V for paste command and place the title block at this endpoint mark. Select the viewport and adjust the boundaries to be inside the title block. Click on scale from the status bar and check one to one. Double click inside the viewport, then click and hold the mouse scroll wheel to adjust the drawing position. If the scale is changed while moving, you could simply adjust it back as we did before. Finally, click on the lock sign to lock the viewport and prevent any changes for the scale. If the title block includes a logo and for some reason the logo disappears when you copy the title block from one drawing to another, we can help AutoCAD to locate the logo and resolve this issue by using the XRF command. This is my logo and the status shows that it's not found. Click it twice, locate your logo and click on open. Change the drawing title to tutorial 14 dash exercise 07 and the drawing number to yt dash cad dash tt14 dash ex dash 007 click on ctrl plus p to open plus setting if this window pops up just click on the escape button from the keyboard click on preview to check out the drawing before making the printout Click on print, choose a folder, then type the file name. And click on save. I think this tutorial was a good practice for the circle tool from dry panel. Also for the trim and rotate tools from modify panel beside the polar tracking tool from the status bar. For dimension placement, sometimes I used object snap tracking, although you don't have to. You could simply place the dimensions anywhere close to the drawing. But make sure it's always continuous and on the same level for better appearance of the drawing.
I purposely tried to execute the command from the ribbon as well as using the shortcuts in order for you guys to be more familiar with the tool's locations on the interface. Again, if you want to know more in detail about any tool or command I used during the exercise, I recommend you to watch tutorials 1 to 6. I left you timestamps in the video's timeline so you can skip around to any chapter or subject you want to revise. Remember to subscribe to the channel and click on the alert button to receive more examples to practice.